Welcome to your roadmap to the latest in auto. Welcome to Highway Herald. Today, we're diving into the world of General Motors, GM, a titan in the automotive industry that promised a bright future of electrification. However, the last decade has seen more shadows than light in GM's journey towards becoming America's leading EV manufacturer. The dream has turned into a nightmare, with losses in the billions and a tarnished reputation. Here are six reasons why GM's EV dream has turned sour. Reason number six, the broken promises of Mary Barra. A decade ago, Mary Barra ascended to the helm of GM, America's largest car maker. She unveiled a strategy that prioritized mass electrification, aiming to secure a leading position in the market. However, these plans soon appeared overly ambitious. In 2017, Barra announced a plan to launch at least 20 electric cars by 2022, later upping the ante to 30 EV models by 2025. She even boldly claimed that GM would sell a million EVs by 2025 and dethrone Tesla. Fast forward to today, and it's clear that these were merely pipe dreams. GM is far from fulfilling its promises, with only a handful of electric cars launched, and none of them, except for the aging Bolt, being mass-produced. The company managed to sell just 75,883 EVs over the last year, most of which were sales of the now-discontinued Bolt EV. With the growth of the EV market slowing down significantly, it's clear that GM is a long way off from reaching its targets. And as for profit margins, they're non-existent. GM's EV program has been a catastrophe, and it seems Barra is the only one who can't see it or won't admit it. Reason number five, the Chevy Blazer debacle. Last year, GM unveiled the all-new Chevy Blazer EV, a model that was expected to be a major player in GM's lineup. On paper, it had everything it needed to succeed sleek styling, a range of over 300 miles, cutting-edge tech features, and a competitive price. But the moment it hit the road, problems started cropping up. Owners began reporting issues of all kinds. The most common were software issues, a recurring theme in GM vehicles these days. But it soon became clear that this mid-size SUV had more serious problems. Edmunds testers reported 23 faults after just two months and less than 2,000 miles of ownership. Inside EV writer Kevin Williams had a similar experience during a week-long test drive of the new Blazer EV. The infotainment system went blank while driving, and then the attempt to charge failed, ending with a service vehicle soon error message displayed. In short, in addition to issues with high-tech interior features, many owners experienced numerous problems with charging and battery performance. Other testers and owners also experienced similar issues, and things got so bad that there were even cases of owners abandoning the vehicle. Reason number four, the software saga. In response to the issues plaguing the Blazer EV, GM halted sales in December. Barra Setnock, GM's vice president of products, software, and services, assured that all issues were resolved, including the charging problem that left many drivers in a lurch. The root of the problem? Minor coding bugs that hindered the vehicle's communication with public EV chargers. GM recalled the problematic vehicles for software updates, and in a surprising turn of events, not only were the software issues addressed, but GM also added or modified some features based on customer feedback. These included customizable ambient lighting and revised driver information graphics. However, the connectivity issues, particularly smartphone integration, remained unresolved. As a result, GM doesn't offer Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in the Blazer and has no plans to do so in future vehicles. Setnock claims that the vehicle's internal systems offer superior functionality, but we all know this is another stumble in GM's journey. And speaking of software issues, let's not forget Super Cruise. GM's semi-autonomous driving system has been around for some time, but engineers are yet to iron out all the kinks. Errors crop up regularly, and customer satisfaction leaves much to be desired. The release of Ford's Blue Cruise highlighted the shortcomings of GM's system, particularly in terms of user-friendliness and overall convenience. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now let's explore reason number three, the delay of Silverado EV and Sierra EV. GM's transition to an all-electric future has been a rocky road. The company had hoped for a seamless and swift transition, but the ongoing market slowdown and operational inefficiencies have led to delays in the production of their most promising EVs, GM had introduced all-electric versions of their flagship models, the Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra pickups. These new pickups were touted for their advanced technology, capability, and luxury. The company even managed to sell a few hundred units, 
but with the latest market trends, it's clear that GM can't afford to lose more money on unsuccessful ventures. Hence, the mass production of these two electric pickups has been delayed, with reports suggesting a late 2025 start. Meanwhile, Ford has halved its production of the all-electric F-150, indicating a low market potential for electric pickups. Additionally, GM has postponed a significant $760 million investment in the Toledo plant, which was set to become GM's first plant for electric drive units in the U.S. Production is now slated to start by year-end. Faced with these challenges, GM has had to scale back its targets and delay other launches, including the all-electric Equinox, a budget-friendly EV set to be produced in Mexico. The launch has been postponed, and we await further information on the new release date. Reason number two, the share buyback saga. Given the colossal investments in EVs and the staggering losses, it's clear that GM's financial health is in a precarious state. The UAW strike last year further compounded the problem, costing the company an additional billion. This, coupled with recent delays, led to a significant drop in GM's share values. Current investors are anxious, and new ones are scarce, forcing the company to postpone major projects to conserve capital. In a surprising move, GM announced its largest ever share buyback, a whopping $10 billion, another glaring sign of the EV debacle. The buyback program, expected to conclude in the last quarter of this year, will be executed by Bank of America Corp., Goldman Sachs Group Inc., Barclays Bank PLC, and Citigroup Inc. Most experts view this as an opportunistic plan, primarily aimed at placating investors who had high expectations. However, UAW President Sean Fain has consistently criticized GM's strategy of buying back shares while offering smaller raises to its hourly employees. Reason number one, the return to hybrids. Earlier in this video, we discussed Barra's unfulfilled promises, but we overlooked the most significant one. Barra had previously announced plans to make GM's lineup all electric by 2035, effectively phasing out internal combustion engines in a record time frame. However, with the current slowdown and the government's decision to relax carbon emissions, it's clear that internal combustion engines will remain the primary energy source for a while longer. Around the same time the EPA proposed a new plan, GM announced its intention to reintroduce hybrids. Initially, the company wanted to bypass this step and move directly to electrification, but this move indirectly admits that the strategy was a complete failure and that it's now exploring new sustainable business models. Given that hybrids are currently growing at a faster pace than EVs, this U-turn makes a lot of sense, as GM will finally have the opportunity to introduce a profitable technology. But the question remains, can GM easily transition into the hybrid territory and compete with major players like Toyota? Only time will tell. Thanks for tuning in to Highway Herald. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest vehicle news and upcoming videos. See you on the next ride.